No, we cannot ship to anywhere other than the United States. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Lana here and today my video is actually a little bit shorter than I planned and the reason is because I wanted to film a video about all of the US products and natural curly hair products that we can't actually find in the UK because I watch a lot of YouTubers and I watch a lot of Instagrammers who are talking about curly hair products, they're like raving about them and I'm over here in the UK like crying because I cannot get my hands on these products. So my plan was to film this video, one, just because it was in my head, two, because a lot of you guys ask me for product reviews on products that I can't actually find and three because I wanted to put a spotlight on this little curly hair issue and maybe get noticed by these brands because they might see this video you never know and maybe they might make a change and they might actually start providing to us UK curly girls who cannot find these products it's so sad but as I did a little bit of research for this video, I realized that if I just look a little bit harder, then I can find a lot of these products if I just try hard enough. So I had to scribble a whole bunch of products off my list. So that's the reason why this video is a little bit shorter than I planned, but it's a good thing. It's like a high key good thing. So if you guys would like a separate video all about where you can find these US and international curly hair products, if you are in the UK or if you are in another country, then hit like on this video. If I get to 150 likes on this video then I will know that you guys are really interested in this sort of thing and that you would really like to hear about where you can find products mm -hmm. okay so hit like on the video also don't forget to subscribe because if you're not subscribed then you're not gonna see the video and also if this video is just a little bit too short for your liking and it doesn't hit your curly hair fix then check out my playlist I'll leave them linked here because we've got a whole bunch of curly hair videos on my channel for you to enjoy so don't even worry that this video is a bit too short. I am uploading three times a week. I am sure that I will be back in no time with a longer video that may suit your tastes. But I have one more thing to cover before we jump into the video and that is my shout outs, which is a new little feature on my channel. I wanna give my first shout out to Roselle Star 67 I've seen you on Instagram, girl. I know you. I know that you are such a huge supporter. You are such an active follower. And I just wanna say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys would like to have a shout out, then make sure you get me on Instagram. I will be letting you guys know when I'm filming videos and when the shout out window is open but you're gonna need to be on Instagram otherwise you're just gonna miss it like you're just gonna miss the window of opportunity so make sure that you're on Instagram and let's go ahead and jump into the video because this was a long ass intro let's go so the first product and it's a curly hair product not like a brand or anything the first product that we cannot find in the UK is the Garnier one minute masks like like I, they tricked me into thinking that I could have it. Like I've seen it everywhere. I've seen it all over Instagram. I've seen it all over YouTube. Everybody is talking about these one minute masks. A little bit of hair on my face right there. Oh look, we got some sunlight. You guys don't know, but I usually film with my blinds closed because the sunlight interrupts the lighting, but I left it open and now I don't feel like a vampire. Like I'm not burning in the light. This is cool. I follow a lot of curly hair influencers, you know, like YouTubers, bloggers, Instagrammers. All of them got sent these Garnier one minute masks. I swear everybody has got one. I know that there's like an avocado one. I don't know like what other ingredients they've got in them, but I know there's an avocado one. I really wanted to try them. I wanted to review them for you guys and I was hearing good things. I don't know how good they are basically, but it doesn't matter at the end of the day because I can't have it. They're like depriving me of the Garnier one minute masks. I searched for them. I searched for them on, um, on Google. I searched for them on Google and I searched on Superdrug because Superdrug is like my go-to. Like Superdrug and Boots are like the high street stores in the UK where you get like toiletries and stuff like that. They don't have them. Amazon does not have them. What we do have is like the like the big tubs of deep repair mask conditioning masks but we've had them for years like they're nothing new and I don't think they're the same ones because these are the, like you have to leave these on for like 15 minutes up. I want the one minute masks because like <laughs> I like, do they think that people in Britain have got like lots of spare time? Do they think that all we do in Britain is drink tea and deep condition our hair whilst sipping on our tea? 
because <laughs> that's not it. That's not it. We're busy people over here and we need the one minute repair masks just as much as our US brethren. We're busy people. We just gotta moisturize and go, you know? Like we've got work, we've got things, rain and snow and like, Brexit. <laughs> you can't find that in the UK. I searched high and low. The end. Let's move on to the next one. So number two. Number two. And I don't know like how popular this is as a curly hair product or a natural hair product. But either way, I've seen it. I've seen Curly Penny talk about it and I've seen Bianca Renee talk about it and I've seen them talk about it together in a video that they did together. And they both said that they started off using Suave. So I was like, hmm, Suave. Let me have a look at Suave. Nope, you can't get it in the UK. They don't do it, we don't have it. I don't know how good it is. It seems like one of those like introductory products like when you're just sort of evolving into the world of taking care of your hair, you like, you're like, mm, Suave, okay. But, you know, we, we didn't get given that opportunity because we don't have Suave. Obviously the US is big and when you have a product, sometimes the US market is big enough. You don't need to expand into the UK, but is it fair? Is it fair though? Because we're missing out over here <laughs> and I want suave because it sounds fun to say like look at me I'm using a suave. suave. Okay that's what I just want to be able to say that once in a while okay but I can't. Anyway enough about suave let's move on to number three because number three was just like so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this product look the, the lights getting bigger this better not be messing with my lighting too much this was so nice and also it's half past four this is the first time that I've been filming at half past four in the evening and there is sunlight like up until like last week it would have been dark so spring's coming summer's coming I'm blessed yes anyway number three is weird that weird that i'm gonna leave it the name because i've got no idea if i'm pronouncing it correctly weird that and i see a lot of people using this they follow me like they actually follow me on instagram and i think that they're kind of just like lurking behind the shadows because they like they like my pictures every now and again they know that we can never connect it's just like a forbidden partnership because they do not ship to the uk nothing can ever become of them following me like i can never work with them they can never send me products it's just like watching each other from afar like your products look really nice and they're like your pictures look really nice that's it like it's never gonna go any further than that it sounds weird i'll stop but literally on their website like because i like with all of these i check their websites to see oh maybe i can buy it from the website directly even if none of our shops stock it but i went over to the website and they say no we cannot ship to anywhere other than the united states so they do not, they, do, they don't, they just don't. And it's not even like murky, it's not even like we can try to ship internationally but your product might get lost. Like they just say no, which is probably better than like trying to lie. So then I thought, okay, let me have a look at Amazon. <laughs> even the thought of that is like bringing back bad memories. This time was different. I went to amazon.co.uk and I searched weird dad and the results came up immediately and I was like, oh damn, I can get weird dad on Amazon. Let me just show you what it was. Words fail me. So I'm just gonna show you what I saw. So I guess that kind of answers the question. Can you get weird out in the UK? Sure. As long as you want to sell your kidney and your elbows. Because it costs about an elbow, a kidney and an eyeball. Now the other two are like kind of debatable because the issue with these two is kind of the price difference. Like you can get them, but like as with lots of products, and I suppose this is gonna be the same for lots of products, but because these products are so expensive anyway, it just feels so much worse. So number four is gonna be Diva Curl products. Now I know that you can find Diva Curl products. There are a few websites that sell them and that kind of thing, but the reason that they are in this video is because of the price issue. It's kind of like, yeah, you can get them in the UK if you want to blow your mortgage savings. Specifically, the one that I want to talk about is the Archangel Defining Gel because I've heard a lot of good reviews about this. I know that it is a lot of people's holy grail product for defining their curls. So I was like, let me just have a look for the Archangel a Gel. On the Diva Curl website, it's on their best sellers list. So I found it and I mean like this is the US obviously because 
Divacore only has a US website. So I was over there and they only have their 32 ounce bottle at the moment. Like I don't know if that's like normal, but for some reason I can only see the 32 ounce bottle, which is the biggest bottle and it's $44. So when we do a little bit of conversion, 44 USD is the same as 31 British pounds. So we're looking at about a pound per ounce here. We've got 32 ounces for 31 pounds. So that's kind of the equivalent that we're looking at if you're in the US. Like, tell me if that doesn't make sense. You guys are paying $44 for your 32 ounce diva curl. That's the equivalent of 31 pounds. So we're looking at one pound per ounce. Like this, tell me that you're with me right now. Like you're following what I'm saying. So if I go onto one of my little websites that I found, they can do you 12 ounces for 22 pounds, which is almost double what our US sisters are paying. You go up to this website that's got a sale on and they can do you 12 ounces for 16 pounds. So yeah. You can go to this website that I'm not entirely sure I trust. You have to be careful with a lot of these websites because they will show everything in pounds and they'll make it look like it's a British website and they'll say, oh yeah, it's like five pounds shipping or whatever. And then you pay it and it turns out that it is shipped all the way from the States and then you get landed with like a 25 pound customs bill or something like that. So you do have to be careful about the websites that you're using. I personally would not recommend buying things that you think are British websites if it's got a .com website, because .com is US. In the UK, we use .co.uk, so definitely look out for that. I'll talk more about this in the other video, which I've kind of decided that I'm gonna film, but like the video anyway. If you go over to Amazon, they're saying that they don't even have it available, or you can get the 12 ounces on Amazon for 63 pounds, like, Now, why am I gonna pay 63 pounds for a 12 ounce bottle when my friends in the US can pay 32 pounds for a 32 ounce bottle? Really? No, I'm not gonna do that. The same thing goes for products like Bounce Curl. Bounce Curl is a really popular product that I see a lot of people using and the same thing goes for that product. It goes for a lot of products that you can actually find. They are just so much more expensive because they have come from the US they've got customs on them, all of that stuff. So obviously they end up having to put the price up. I do think that's 63 pounds for a 12 ounce bottle. Like they didn't need to put it up that much. Like that's taking a liberty for sure. Products number four and five kind of just merge into one another. There's a whole bunch of products that I could talk about in point number five. And it's essentially just because you can find them if you're willing to pay a lot of money. Look at the sunlight, it's just spreading. Oh, I'm so in love with spring. Yeah, so that's all of the products. This video was actually a lot longer than I said it was gonna be. Hopefully I can edit it down because it was supposed to be a short video seeing as there wasn't actually that many products to talk about. But I know that you guys prefer longer videos anyway, so maybe it was a little bit of a win-win. So I want you guys to like this video if you liked it. And I also want you guys to like this video and comment down below just so that I can be completely sure whether you guys wanted to see a full length video talking about the websites and the shops that I have found where you can buy international products in the UK at fairly decent prices. So with all that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also remember to get me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, mainly Instagram because that's the one I use the most. Also don't forget to subscribe because I want to see you guys in the comment section on my next video and I want you guys to help us get to 100,000 subscribers. We're so close to being there and I just want to thank my day one so much because you guys are the ones who got this all off the ground and got it all moving. So thank you guys so much for being a day one and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mm. Oh, did you be coming back?